Hi, I'm Chris Martirana with American Music and Sound, and we're here in Dallas, Texas with our great friends at Audio Dog. I'm going to be showing you Nord's Stage 3, an awesome instrument for live performance and for all kinds of applications. The Nord Stage 3 takes up where the Nord Stage 2 EX leaves off and goes much further, adding additional features and some very cool improvements. The three separate engines found is the organ modeling section, the acoustic piano and electromechanical instrument section, and the synthesizer sample player section. Let's take each one separately and look at the new improvements added. In the organ section, there's now two pipe organ models that are killer. They've also taken the Hammond B3 modeling and taken it much further, adding now to it the latest improvements from their Nord C2D double manual top of the line organ. They've also added a killer 122 rotary speaker emulation based on the legendary 122 Leslie. They've added now in the piano section twice the memory. It now has two gigabytes of their proprietary lossless data compression. Used to be one gigabyte in the Nord Stage 2 EX. So twice the memory. They've also doubled the polyphony. Now it's 120 voices of polyphony. That's excellent. They've also added a lot of new piano models. They've added a lot on, the, on their website of free content for the electroacoustic section. There are now, I think, four or five new pianos, new upright pianos. And then you have also a lot of new categories in the piano section. They've added a digital category that features FM electric pianos. They've also added a layer category that features smaller versions of some of the electromechanical and acoustic pianos ideal for layering. Also, they've added three bands of EQ to the piano section, so you have a bright, mid, and soft EQ bump. Selecting each one will give you a different EQ curve over the individual sounds coming from this engine. They've also added a detune capability to this section so that if you layer two pianos, you can now detune them from each other, which is very cool. Moving on, in the central section of the instrument, you can see a beautiful OLED display. The OLED display is new and adds a lot of information about what's going on in the instrument. Moving to the right, we come to the synthesizer sample player. Lots of updates and improvements here. They've added the Nord A1 synth engine, now featuring killer beautiful analog style waveforms that are modeled, adding things like super waves, which are detuned waveforms, adding some vocal formant waveforms and adding, of course, some harmonically rich waveforms that they're calling under a category called WAVE. You'll notice another OLED display, giving you immediate feedback to what's going on separately in the synth section. They've also done some very cool things. For example, now in the effects section, we can use separate reverb ambience on our A and B panels. In the past, in the Nord Stage 2 EX, you had a global control that would affect both A and B panels when used together. Now you can separately assign ambience to either A or B. The Nord Stage 3 comes in three different keyboard flavors, an 88-note hammer-weighted action, like the one I'm playing here, a 76-note hammer-weighted action, and then a 73-note waterfall action that looks like a, an organ keyboard, where the black keys slant back and the front has a nice waterfall front. On the 73 note, you have physical drawbars. On the 76 and the 88, you have a light tree virtual drawbar system. Very easy to use, though. You press down a button, and it's like pulling the drawbar to you. You press down another button, it's like pushing it back in. I'm going to show you a little bit of the organ section right now. I'll start with the improved tone wheel organ and rotary speaker emulation. I'm going to use some overdrive right now and I'm going to use the CC pedal to control the gain to the instrument. As I bring up the gain of the CC pedal you'll notice it starts to introduce the subtle overdrive and then it starts to get more distorted the more gain I give it. Just like a preamp would when you overdrive it. So we'll listen to that and then I'm just going to play a little bit. I'll be using the real-time controls, the percussion, the vibrato chorus, uh, and then the rotary speaker. And I'm going to control the rotary speaker from a foot switch on the ground as well because I like to keep my hands on the keyboard. Great live performance instrument, as you'll see in the organ section.
So let's listen to some of the new pipe organ models. There's two in here, remember. I'm going to select the first one. And now the draw bars become controls over the organ stops. So I'll just select a stop setting here that I like. I'm going to put a uh, hall on, add a little bit of a reverb, large hall, and take it out of the rotary speaker, and we'll listen to the raw pipe organ model one. If you'd like to add a little chorus or reverb to it, by all means you can use effects to change the sound. I'm going to put a little bit of the vibrato on it and we'll listen to that. And I'll be changing the stops. Every organ program, you have two presets. You have the original drawbar setting that you have, no matter whether it's pipe organ or tone wheel or one of the classic organs like Vox or Farfisa. And then you have a preset two button. So just like on a, on a real organ, you have more than one stop you can get to with the touch of a button. So here I'm going to set a full rank on preset two, and I'm going to have a kind of a fluty setting here on preset one. Just to show you a little bit how you can customize this very quickly, there's three bands of EQ. I'm going to cut out a lot of the shrill high end. Personally, I'm not a fan of that. I'm also going to add a little bit of low mids to this full rank organ sound. I'm going to make the reverb a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to take the sound, change the stop a little bit to it, and give it a little bit of chorusing effect. The instrument is so well set up for live performance, it's literally the touch of a button, and you can select an effect. So I have a chorusing on it now. I'm going to add a slow rate to the chorus and a large amount, and we can get... Nord is well known for their morphing technology, so here's a good way to show you morphing. I'm going to turn on the CC pedal that I have connected right now, and I'm going to use it to actually change the registrations to the organ in real time from a CC pedal. So I'm going to double button press the control pedal, morph, and I'm going to change the stops. I'll take away some of the high frequency, and I'll turn it into more of a fluty program. And so now we can hear what that sounds like. So you get the idea. It's very easy to customize what you want. So this is Nord Stage 3. Thanks again for watching. I'm Chris Martirano. If you need any additional information, contact your sales experts at audiodog.com.